uh, what's needed more in society today? Do we need more masculinity or do we need more femininity? Like, we which one is, like, a need? Please. We need we more need... traditional men that, that yeah. want to take care of their woman. But, like, what are women to... like? What are women today? Are they masculine or are they feminine? Like, well, what's needed? Can I say that? Yeah. Um, I feel like women are still feminine. However, to men who are not used to being supporters or used to being traditional because they want traditional wives, women who make too much money and make more than them are seen as masculine or, you know, how do I say this? Um... Like, prime example, a lot of men refer to Meg Thee Stallion as masculine or mm-hmm. man. She makes more money than them. She's attractive and she doesn't need them. To a lot of men, men who are, I don't say, I don't say rudely, but men who are weak or don't, don't have, how do I say this in the nicest way possible? You could be honest. Okay. Yeah, just say it. Just yeah. So a lot of men only are attracted to weak women because they have nothing for themselves. And a lot of women who work hard, have full-time jobs, or, you know, have their own are seen as masculine because they're not as easy to manipulate and control. Are they seen as masculine or do they act masculine? Like, like, is there certain traits that are masculine traits and there's certain traits that are feminine traits? I actually had this conversation the other but day. But why do they act masculine? I can, yeah, no, I'm, I can bring, I, I can talk about that, but I want to ask, you know, like, like, would you, can we just, uh, you know, have a general agreement of, do you think there's masculine and feminine traits? If we can agree on that, I, then I we can that. agree. I can agree to that. Traits, yeah. oh, okay, so then we can agree then that a woman can pick up certain traits that are considered masculine traits and they're all type a personality there's type a and there's type b type a personalities are people who work you have to be aggressive you have to be a go-getter that's all type a personality because to be a successful business person to make money mm-hmm. you have to be a type a personality totally so like women who are masculine it's not a sh- like like, the, like like what's crazy is that it's taken so like offensive when it's just stating in general how it is like like how you're acting and there's nothing Like the thing is, as soon as you realize that you're being a masculine woman, if you are, you can uh, realize it and say, oh, I'm I'm going to be accountable now. That was masculine how I said that. Or when I said this, that was very masculine. I should say like, I should rest in my femininity and say it this way. And I would argue, ladies, y'all fall into your femininity if you're with a guy who's in his masculine frame. Okay, but very few that. men are in their masculine frame. So you're kind of pigeonholed and forced into the masculine shit all the time. But I would say like y'all aren't. Like, uh, like, like Meg Thee Stallion is a really good example of somebody that is actually very masculine, though. Like the way she talks, the way she she's a businesswoman. I expect her to be masculine and that's fine. But uh, but, in, you know, I would argue it's OK. She can be masculine and she's going to find a very feminine dude that it works perfect. The problem is you can't have two masculinities in the same house. Oh, yeah. You can't have two alphas under one roof. That's where the issues come. And so, like, I, yeah, y'all, y'all can definitely be an alpha woman and then go find a beta dude. But and it will probably work. But there are some. I can speak only. Oh, I can only speak on from my perspective. Mm. I've dated men who didn't have as much as me, and they made me feel bad for it because I was seen as masculine. Those they, guys are losers, though. Uh, okay. Like that's as simple we, as we, it we, is. We, They're we, just we losers. That. Um, but like when I dated someone, not they didn't even have to make more than me, but they simply treated me a certain way. I was able to rest in my femininity regardless of how much money I made. Yeah, I definitely think some guys get um, emasculated by it. And then when they're emasculated by it, then, yeah, they're going to feel some type of way for sure. I agree with you on that. Um, But no, back to like what I was doing with the examples um, when it comes to, you know, I was saying which one's needed in society. Masculine type A personality is needed because we make money with it And, and society, the GDP, America, capitalism. It's all based off of masculinity. So I, I was asking that because what's needed? Masculinity. We need masculinity. So it's the prize. We need masculinity. Okay. 